good morning everyone today's topic is my delightful school can you tell me children observe the picture on page number 115 of your textbook can you tell me your textbook children please read your textbook and see the picture of your textbook which shows how children are learning happily now tell me which of this picture did you like the most which of the picture did you like the most come on which of this picture did you like the most children which one picture did you like playing in the ground or teacher teaching in the classroom or the library or the laboratory or the arts classes there see drawing classes there <coughs> sports yeah teacher is teaching okay means different types of there see library teacher children are sitting over there okay first picture laboratory okay it's a science lab art class is also there why did you like that picture the most why do you like the picture the most everyone come on tell me the answer why did you like the picture the most children drawing okay <coughs> why did you like the most picture which are that picture why do you like because you enjoy there okay good because you enjoy there okay okay children tell me one more thing why do we go to school why do we go to school children <coughs> sorry to study okay to study okay to learn to study for studying okay okay good we go to school to learn we make many friends in school each and everyone makes a each other help if you don't know the maxim etera batana book please show me no show me no you don't know i mean lady like capri show me no please show me no your book like that each one helps each other we play together and share our tiffins also in the recess time you all share your tiffin with the teachers also with the students with your friends also we take part in school functions and go on trips together in the trip in the picnic you are doing so much of enjoyment is your know, children eating food swimming in the water and all that pani me khelte ho idhar bhagte ho udhar bhagte ice creams and all that okay go on trip together we come together to clean and decorate the classroom also if something functions is there teacher is telling please decorate our classroom then you are doing what cleanliness you are doing the clean class clean and you are decorating the class for that function there are so many things which we do together you can do this at your home now with your friend children are you missing all these things while you are sitting at home now you can do this all these things children you can do this all these thing at your school at your home sitting in this home tumhare friend ke sath tum log school classroom decorate kar sakte ho tiffin share kar sakte ho no you can't do now this thing yes or no you can't do this why because you are at home ye kaha hota hai in the school only where it happens in the school only kaha pe hota hai ye sab kuch in the school You cannot decorate the classroom. You cannot go for the picnic. You cannot share your tiffin. You cannot study. You cannot help your friend. Okay, it uh, where it just in this school only. There are so many things which we do together. It is great fun to do so. What can we do to make sure that every child in the class finds it's fun to clean? Fun to clean. Now, now see, try this. Okay. Do you know, children? I got a letter. I got a letter. This is story of a school in Kola Valley in Ratnagiri district. Where in the Ratnagiri district, one of the teacher has took them to see the post office. Okay, the teacher took the student to the post office to show them how the postal system works, how the poster, how we are giving the letters, and how the postman posts the letter. Why they are putting the stamp or the letter? How they all sort out? Karte one letter is going there. Ek hi place pe the letter jata nahi hai. So there are so many different places letters. So how they are sorting out? 
who took them teacher took them for the picnic to see the post office explain its work he explained it works to the student but to give them a first hand experience to how it works how experience teacher want that the children should know how the post is are going on so what the teacher do now see he used a novel idea means a novel idea he wrote a letter to each and every child every child and he posted okay tell them up the studies what was there in the late given their progress in the studies in the letter it was written over there that the progress of the student in sports their interest and activities the children letters they showed the letter to everyone the children were very happy to see the letter that teacher has given us a letter so they shown the letter to each and every one saying i got a letter i got a letter some even sent a reply to the letter some of the children even sent a reply to the teacher what reply they had done just see they sent a greeting card to the teacher at the time of diwali how you are giving us a greeting card when our birthday is there when diwali is there ya kuch function so that teachers day is there you are giving greeting card yes or no to the teacher making the hand uh, tearing the pages and all that okay a few days later the teacher taught the student how to send email nowadays you know how to send the email some of the children are sending their own email to our school id yes or no but teacher taught them how the email should be sent okay one letter sent by the teacher evoked a new enthusiasm in the student the school became an enjoyable place for them ye kahan pe ho sakta hai in the school itself now see to play the sports so many types of sports are there we are playing in the ground if we help each other we can success we can success at anything what becomes enjoyable in order to help one another we must first understand our basic needs and difficulties if we help each other we can succeed at anything if somebody is in trouble please help him out then we will get a succeed okay work becomes enjoyable ek dusre ko help karne se kya hota hai work becomes enjoyable in order to help one another ek dusre ko help karne se we must first understand our mutual needs and difficulties do we try to understand the needs of our classmate kabhi hum log ne apne classmate ki problem kya dekhi hai sochi hai there may be a new student in our class each year a new student comes in our class we help him out the teacher's name tiffin khane mein usko help karte he is sitting alone she is sitting alone then we make a friendship with that girl yes or no a <coughs> boy okay we run in our class or a student who lives far away from their parents there may be someone who speak a different language at home they don't know the marathi language they don't know english language because they are speaking different language at their home some may have an older brother or sister to help them and some may not because of this diversity everyone has different needs we must try to understand these needs in school we meet different kinds of students Yes, so now different kinds of students are there in school. One kind of students is only there about. Tomorrow, a friend is there. Is it school? Me? No, there are different types of students. There are a few people who cannot see and a few who cannot hear also. A few cannot walk easily. The needs of students such as these are different and special. We can understand them only by getting to know them well. There are the another school for this type of people. This type of student. they cannot see they cannot hear they cannot walk disabled children are there they may are known as disabled children okay they are having a different types of school over in that school they were teaching to uh, teachers and all that ya fir tabla to tabla bajana sikhate means different types of teaching is there in that school okay because they cannot see even uh, some alphabets they are knowing the help of that some uh, book is there okay every child should get the joy of learning okay? everyone has a right to get an education each child has a right to get an education all children with special needs has a right to education many parents of children with a special needs send their children to 
school with a great determination. So the parent has a big, big dream that, so they are sending the child to the school. Okay, they must be thinking afterwards, in the future, my child will become engineer. In the future, my child will become doctor. Okay, then lawyer and all that. They are having their own great determination. The government also has many schemes for them. If you know any children with the special needs, do tell the children, teachers and parents about these. They too will encourage the children to go to the school. Okay. The government has also provided many facilities for these disabled children. Okay, government ne unko both facilities diya so they can study, so they can take an education, proper education for the disabled children. Facility for the education of girls also. In the villages nowadays also, some of the parents are not sending the girls to the school. They are thinking that girls should not study. But nowadays we should give an education to the boys also and to the girls also. Equally, they should study. Okay? Most parents try to make sure that the girls are educated. Nowadays, the girls are educated, well-educated girls are there. Okay? They also drive the cars. They also drive the trains and all that. Even a uh, aeroplane also girls are driving. But in the villages, all people are thinking that girls should not get an education. However, sometimes girls are expected to carry out household chores such as taking care of their siblings, drawing water from the well. In the villages, the people are thinking the girls should do only the household work only and see to the our siblings. Even drawing a water from the well. They must be thinking that only. Okay? In the villages, etc. All by themselves. As a result, they lay behind in school or even leave it. A girl's education should not stop for this or for any other reason or for any other reason. Girls to have a right to joy of learning. Each girl has a right to joy of learning. Even a boy has a right to joy of learning. If he is poor, he is not getting an educated, well education. Okay? So, each and every child has a right to learn or joy of learning. Okay? Even. Now, can you tell me, children, your classmate does not speak a same language that you speak? No. He has a different language to speak at home with their parents. Even if we learn in a common language at school, if we learn a common language that is English in the school itself, then also he cannot speak a proper English language. So he what he is speaking at home, he's speaking here only. Hindi, he is speaking, he is speaking Hindi over here. If he is speaking Marathi, he is speaking Marathi over here. We all speak in our mother tongue at home. We are not speaking in English at home. Okay. Some of the parents are speaking English at home. Okay, because they want their child to learn English properly, to speak English properly. The mother tongue of some student may be Gujarati. The mother tongue of some of the child may be Gujarati. Some may speak in Hindi at home, while others may speak Tel Telugu or kan Kannada. Because of school, we get friends who speak different languages. Now, children, tell me, in the school itself, we are getting, we are meeting to different types of children. We are meeting different types of children who are speaking different types of languages. At home, we will get different types of languages, children. No, you will not get a different types of language at your home. But where it gets? In the school only. We are meeting with each other. They are, they are speaking of different languages. Okay. We all now, we see about the uniform. Uniform is a must in our school. Everyone knows that uniform is must in our school. You cannot wear a colorful dresses. You cannot wear a party dresses. Only when functions are there, you can wear a colorful dress or party dress. But... How we come to know that child is going to school? With the help of uniform. With the help of uniform. We all wear a uniform in school. Everyone wears a uniform in school. If you're not wearing school uniform, teacher is shouting on you. Hey, where is your uniform? And he says only one reason. Teacher, mommy ne dhone ki ne dalya. Yes or no, children? You're saying that only. We were on day. When an uniform is not compulsory, the classroom becomes a colorful. 
in Diwali uh, in Diwali party or Christmas party, you're wearing a colorful dresses. Everyone knows that, yes or no? It is fun to attend a class where there is a lot of diversity. Each and every one child is wearing different types of dresses. You're looking so pretty because school uniform, you see a one type and a colorful dress, you look very beautiful, okay? Our customs, language, and eating habits may be different. But as human beings, we are all alike. But as human beings, we are all alike, same as a blue. When we respect this diversity and help each other, we enjoy being a school. School becomes delightful. So we love, everyone learns our school to go. Okay? Everyone likes a school. Children we will recall what I taught you today. We get many different friends in school. Each and everyone has a friend in school, yes or no? In school, we come to know about the diversity in our country. So many types of festivals are there. So many types of foods are there. So many types of dresses are there. Traditions are there. Where we come to know? In our school only. Okay? Every child must get the joy of learning education. Each child has a right to be educated. If he is a girl, she is a girl or he is a boy. Okay? Every child has a... <coughs> right of education. All children, including those with special needs, have a right to education. If anybody is disabled, they has a right for their education. They has a right for the education. Also, if he is disabled, okay, means he cannot see, he cannot hear, he cannot walk. They also has a right of the education. When we offer and seek help, learning becomes more joyful, joyable, okay? I hope everyone understood the chapter clearly. Yes or no?